Well, it's been some time since we've had a, a work, had a look at the Triumph Grand Prix project. Um, so I decided to start it up again. Um, starting with the, the rear wheel, we've got the frame away getting um, that all cleaned up and powder coated and made it look pretty. But the um, rear wheel, as you can see, has been, <laughs> it's, it's had better days. So this is the Triumph Sprung Hub. And the whole idea here was there was no rear suspension on the outside of the wheel. The suspension was actually done uh, in the inside with this unit here. Uh, awkward things to work on and I'll just show you the, the outsides of it first. This bearing's been, I've moved this bearing out so I can actually get this part off here. This sits on, on there like that and there is a retaining ring as well that goes on the outside of this section here. Uh, I'll turn it over and I'll show you the sprung hub unit once I've taken it out. So this is the other side of the unit and the idea here was that that's the um, axle, this part stays still, this piece here stays still and it moves up and down actually within the hub and there's a sprung unit inside the hub and this is the rotating piece that's attached to the wheel as you can see there. So with a bit of luck this might come out like this and it does good. So you can see it's a very simple setup there. One of the things you do have to notice is that the, the cutouts are on an angle so they're not directly opposite each other because the way that the sprung hub works which is here it is also you can see on an angle the important thing here is that there are springs inside this unit here that allow this axle to move up and down um, and give you some um, suspension movement actually inside the wheel itself there are big things on here saying warning do not disassemble unless you have a special jig because the springs in here are compressed at both ends on the axle to allow the axle to, to move up and down and have a, um, a, um, mostly some spring force either side of it. Um, but what they do is that you compress the springs and then put these two parts together. If you want to do these things here, it becomes a projectile and people have been killed doing it, so I'd suggest that you, you don't do it. I'm not going to. I'm just going to replace this bearing here, clean everything up, re-thread the ends of it here, um, put another bearing on the outside of it. This collar here is seized on, so I need to remove that collar. Um, and that'll be the start of it. And obviously, I've got a little bit of work to do to clean up the wheel. Triumph Grand Prix project started. <laughs> 